With more than two and a half billion viewers, cricket is a multi-billion dollar industry with fans all around the globe. And it's no surprise Turkey want to be a part of the world's second most popular sport. They believe they can make it to a 2020 competition in the near future, but experience isn't exactly on their side. 12 years ago, along with our vice president, all this started out as a simple dream and it's come true. This is Turkey's first national cricket team. We're going to play our first match in Europe. It's an incredible feeling to see kids we taught the game to, in middle school, end up on the squad. Two of those middle schoolers are Captain Gökhan Göktu Alta and batsman Tunahan Turan. Both are examples of Türkiye's humble beginnings in cricket. In 2009, I went to go watch a cricket match with my father at Vilkent University in Ankara with international students. And that's how my love for the sport began. I'm one of the first cricket players on this team. I started back in 2009 when my PE teacher introduced the sport to me. We have really good athletes and coaches on this team and the quality of everything we've been doing from training to organizing domestic tournaments is top notch. Setting up a 100% indigenous team that's competitive internationally is far from realistic in a country where there aren't a lot of opportunities to play the sport. And so Turkey have four or five players who aren't Turkish. Seeing a foreign-born player on a national cricket team is nothing new. Jaffer Archer, Owen Morgan, Ben Stokes, all names that have contributed to England at the highest level despite not being born there. Now, Turkey's needs are a little different. With their naturalized players, they're hoping not only to improve their performance on the pitch, but also build a new cricket culture in the country. We are uh, sharing our techniques, our knowledge about cricket to them so that we can grow together and a few years later, we can take Turkey into the highest level. What are you trying to pass on in terms of knowledge? Like uh, how to hold the bat, yeah. uh, how to field, how to manage the field, fielding system, how to ball, how to catch, how to field, everything. Like we are practicing together, but at the same time, when I'm seeing they are making some mistakes, I'm trying to show them. In, and I'm telling them to practice a few times. So slowly, slowly, like this, they will get it. And they will implement in their game like this will grow. Turkey's history with cricket goes back further than just 12 years in the early 20th century. The sport was so popular that one of Istanbul's biggest football clubs, Fenerbahce, set up a team in 1911. But the interest died off after World War I. Now, a century later, Turkey want to get down to the grassroots and produce players who live and breathe cricket. We're expecting the game to get more popular in Turkey, especially after we play Finland. We're hoping to start teaching kids cricket as early as the age seven level. Of course, this is a project that may take five or ten years, but when you look at what we've done in 12 years, it's not hard to believe some kindergartners will grow up to play on the national team. We are planning to go to village schools to teach cricket for youngsters and our president is just planning every national players to go every village school to teach cricket every month or every week. But some players like Mejit Öztürk say introducing the sport to more people won't be enough. But we don't have any facilities in here in Turkey. Just be playing football ground is not a the cricket will be grow. If we have a, a ground like other countries like Romania, Bulgaria, they have all of them. They have a self, self ground. But we have we need the ground in Turkey. If we have a ground, I'm I'm hundred percent sure it can be proved about five ten years. It can be maybe top uh, in, in in European top ten something like this. Well, Turkey aren't quite there yet, and their performance at the European sub qualifiers in Finland showed it. Despite an exciting start against Romania in the first match. Oh, they're appealing for court behind here, and given! That's out! Well, what a moment for Turkey, and look at what it means to them. They failed to limit their opponents and lost by 51 runs. Loopy full toss, smashed away through square leg. It is a long, long boundary out there, but that's got there. 
Their next games against Serbia and Cyprus were no different. They lost by seven wickets in one and 135 runs in the other. Last ball of the day. It's another country. has oh. gone down the ground. And despite scoring 97 runs against the Isle of Man, the most in team history, it wasn't enough to win their first match. And that does give them their highest ever T20 Brilliant. international score. Turkey's first official step in the international game may have been small in the world of sport, but their passion is a sign that things can improve and that they could be on the front foot sooner or later. Talha Duman, TR2 World. Thank you.